All right, once again, joining us this morning to answer the latest questions about research about the coronavirus, Dr. Hamil Kothri, the Chief Medical Officer for Dignity Health of Central California Division. Dr. Kothri, good morning once again, sir. Good morning, Maddie. So it was just addressed in the story we just aired a minute ago, but I want to go back to those WHO recommendations that caused such a stir earlier this week. Uh, we talked about them Tuesday morning after WHO, the World Health Organization, initially said that asymptomatic spread of the virus was rare. You clarified that for us, saying that does not include pre-symptomatic people, those who will get sick but don't yet have symptoms. Well, even after we talked about it on uh, Tuesday, who then held a special news conference to further clarify because there was such backlash over their statement. Can you kind of give us the final word on the spread of the virus from people who don't have symptoms? Yeah, so, so there's definitely some spread from asymptomatic, truly asymptomatic patients. Um, we're still looking at how severe that spread is, but there is. But we definitely know that pre-symptomatic patients spread heavily. They're heavily shedding the virus. So we're still trying to figure out the, the true distinction, but for both cases, some spread for sure. And, and if you're pre-symptomatic versus asymptomatic, you don't really know because you don't have symptoms, right? Correct, absolutely correct. And that's what makes this a little bit dangerous. Okay, does that same thing happen with the flu? No, you know, um, people that have the flu always, if they're, if they're gonna shed the virus, it's usually after they get the symptoms, it's not before they get the symptoms. Okay, so that's one of the major differences here that we're looking at. Right. So this week we, uh, of course, are seeing more and more industries and sectors of our economy reopening. Some local spray parks opened up uh, in Kern County and more is set to open later this week. What are your thoughts on the safety of taking your kids somewhere like that to stay cool during the summer? You know, it's, it's a very difficult situation and, and question to address at this time. And the biggest reason is we are seeing a surge right now, or I shouldn't say a surge, an increase in the cases. This is not our surge currently. An increase in the cases and because of special events that you guys mentioned earlier, I think opening up spray parks, we will get additional cases. Now, once again, I was hoping that the weather was going to be in our favor, but it's turning out this virus is still a bit stronger than we thought. But I still believe that this virus has to come to an end in the next few weeks. Because of heat and humidity? I believe so, yes. Okay, so we'll be watching for that uh, as we do again see the temperature spike today. A few weeks ago, we also talked about other common summer activities and the safety of those. Uh, we just mentioned spray parks. What about youth sports? A lot of baseball seasons were canceled when the pandemic hit, and now some are hoping to restart this summer. Is that safe? You know, I, I believe so, and I think the reason is we've learned quite a bit about this virus, and, and I'll even take you back into the hospital uh, setting. We in the hospital are very comfortable dealing with the virus now. And so I think as is the community. So I think opening up baseball and other sports will be okay. Because if, if people get come down with the virus, we know what to do now. And, and what's the risk in, in contracting it in like an environment such as playing baseball where you're not in as close of contact where you would be perhaps uh, playing, I don't know, another sport, maybe like football or, or basketball. Right, and what we found with all the learning that we've done is not only do you have to be in close proximity, but you've got to be there for a short period of time. In baseball, you're not going to stand right next to someone that close. Now, obviously, if you're standing on a base, someone's in front of you, yeah, you got an issue. But I think, I, I still believe, I think sports like that would be completely safe to practice. In general, what's your message to the community right now on, uh, on going forward and keeping the pandemic in mind? I think, you know, someone said it earlier, um, just be cautious, um, be careful, and be mindful of others. All right, Dr. Cawthry, thanks so much for being with us again this morning. We appreciate you. Thank you very much.